Who wants to talk Dead Space? Let's Dead talk Dead Space. Space. I, I love Dead Space. Oh, we're talking Dead Space? I love Dead Space. I, I enjoy me many a Dead Space, and by many a Dead Space, I mean those first two games, that rail shooter, <laughs> uh, parts of those movies. Isn't there a game of the week? Yeah, that's, that's the rail yeah. shooter. Oh, and there's yeah, the arcade game that's a prequel to two and a sequel to one or whatever. Something like that. Ignition? Extraction? No, Extraction's the DLC. I'm the only one here I, who I actually likes the third one, aren't I? You know, Corey is going through them on his um, on his Twitch channel. I believe we're going to be co-oping three. And I, I, I played through it not too long ago. I think like a year, year and a half. I Three is like very antithetical to the gameplay loop of one and two where you're constantly having to like improvise with whatever materials you have offhand you ha you're kind of forced to use different weapons that all act differently from one another and three is just like you can build a grenade launcher and all the universal and, and all the ammo is universal so you can just fucking use a grenade launcher the entire time if because you want. then we can make microtransactions so you can buy ammo and buy things to upgrade your guns yeah, I don't know if you can buy ammo, but I know you can buy things to upgrade your guns, and that's the entire game's basically built around mm -hmm. as far as the gameplay loop. Like when I say I like Dead Space Three, I will say the game is bad. The game has problems. The game is one of the worst examples of uh, publisher meddling in a game I've ever seen. Um, what su what kills me is that there is I'm a anybody who knows me knows I love like winter horror, snow horror, and I also just really like space horror. But like combining the two was just like the best thing ever the problem is that like there is a really good game a really decent good like overlooked game fighting to be seen inside that really mediocre piece of trash i i think for me it's that like as an isol as an isolated game it's totally fine it's serviceable there's nothing yeah. like fundamentally wrong with it it's capital it's f just, fine it's it's just i really fucking love those first two games too especially like you, you can say like oh, yeah. the alien to aliens comparison is totally there where one's maybe a little bit clunkier it's more on the horror and then two is like more action but just as tense it's um two is just such a fucking perfect game like front yeah. to back i can't so find two, a single issue generations re4 oh, two yeah. made isaac an actual character and a great character at that every gen has an re4 basically <laughs> Let's go into this. Uh, wait, what was the what was the last generation's RE4 then? Evil Within Two. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. Evil Within Two is yeah. fucking great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty it's good. Like, it's like one of those that's like you just play it. It's oh, this is just this is just good. Yeah, it's different. It's way different, but it's also good. <laughs> um, um, but wait, hold on. We didn't even story. talk about the actual yeah. news story. Yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, news. I successfully turned this into a Dead Space fan cast. Talk about right I, I, I think when we get the right cast members together, it's just a beautiful. And I, I say this with the best intentions, like the best beautiful mess possible, and I love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get to the new story. Um, while fans are busy rejoicing upon the, in yeah. lucky you didn't let me talk about Super Robot Wars that much. Oh God! <laughs> wow, um, was it? Anyway, uh, while fans are busy rejoicing upon the announcement of a spiritual successor to the Dead Space series in the Callisto Protocol, which is helmed by the franchise co-creator and Sledgehammer Games founder Glenn Schofield, um, EA Motive, the team behind 2020 Star Wars Squadrons, has been quietly toiling away on a full-fledged remake of the original title in the same vein of Capcom's reimaginings of, of the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Uh, the game is... The game is targeting to use the first Dead Space as a strong foundation with a more modern approach to gameplay mechanics, feel, and visuals. Um, so yeah, they're looking to remake Dead Space Uno. And this is confirmed. Uh, last I heard, this yes. was all rumor. It was substantiated. Okay. Uh, so, does anyone care if I fucking say, say first on this? Yeah, go for it. I, I go don't for have it. much to say about Pop Space, off. So. Agma, like as we all know, is the uh, horror expert of the group. Well, I actually um, care about Dead Space. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, well, so shit. do okay. I. <laughs> okay, that, we'll, we'll give you time to shine, Atma, but go ahead. Please. I mean, okay. Um, here's Originally, when I heard this, I was like, I don't want a Dead Space remake. I'm Kind of the same feeling I have of like Silent Hill. Just let it die. Just let it be done. I, I'm tired. But I will say, 
I'm more open to this now that it is officially confirmed because of one thing. A lot of people forget that Dead Space, like, Dead Space 1 is a fine game, but it also is not the best horror game ever made. It's kind of just jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare with a lot of good environmental stuff, like a lot of good environmental building, but after a while you can kind of just see every scare come because it's, oh, there's a not dead body on the ground that's clearly going to jump at me. Or, oh, here's like uh, a, a music stinger plays and now the same thing that happened the last five times is going to happen. But, and the gameplay, like I said, like I've always refer, preferred the refined gameplay in 2, even if you pe- some people want to be like, well, no, it got away from its roots, and I'm like, eh, it plays better, in my opinion. It play it, and, and the fact that they focused on the horror being the story more so than like the actions going on, at least to me, feels better. So if they if this is their chance to go back to Dead Space One and like like you know if they're saying especially when they say in the same vein as how like the remake of Resident Evil Two, I'm interested to see what they can do with that. If they can maybe bring more of the psychological horror to that first installment more so than was there to begin with, and also give us some really refined modernized gameplay. I th- I think the things I'm looking forward to are kind of like echo what, what you're going off of, Blaine. I want it to basically just play like Dead Space 2, just have that refined gameplay. Yeah. Um, That game, even on PC nowadays, really isn't a looker. Definitely needs those uh, visual upgrades, new lighting systems that maybe you wouldn't necessarily be able to do with just like a straight up remaster. Um, What else could they... Um, and Dead Space 2 somewhat has this issue, but Dead Space 1 is very monotone in its environments. So adding even like some new colors, adding some new areas or like remixing the environments, I think could really go a long way to kind of break up some of the monotony that the first one in particular suffers from. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I fucking love Dead Space and I'd be all aboard for it. Uh, Atma, so... Typically, you're not a horror person, but you do like Dead Space. What's yeah, your take so, on this? So, like, Dead Space hits at the exact sort of, like, horror stuff that I do enjoy. Like, uh, Event Horizon was a movie that scared the shit out of me as a kid. And oh, yeah. it ha- has, like, lived in my brain rent-free for, like, two decades, at least. Um, so I love that sort of like space stuff, alien and the, anything horror and space related is good for me. And so I really love dead space and dead space two. And for all reasons, everyone has ever said dead space three was a, you know, shit for me. Um, and I am really conflicted about this because like, I see all the points for a refresher of Dead Space and like updating the gameplay and making it more interesting psychological horror and doing like like bringing out the Dead Space that everyone sort of nostalgia remembers before they replay it again. Um, but at the same time, like I want a new Dead Space. I don't want to visit the the oh god I'm blanking on the Ish- name Ishimura Ishimura Ishimura. Uh, I don't like. We don't need to revisit that again. I, and I think that's just a little bit of reboot and remake fatigue. Um, and like I've just been thinking about how like everyone got super psyched for Metroid Dread because it's a mm-hmm. new entry in Metroid that for, that for like a series that hasn't been touched in in a, in a decade or more. Like it's an actual new entry, not Metroid Samus Returns. No, not plus some. you know. Dread itself has been a game that's been in and out of development since shit like the DS era. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say like 2008 or 2007, yeah. right? Metro Dread, right. they first talked about it as a DS game, so I mean, that's a long time ago. I think it was 2006, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think it's also worth noting, and Kenny is pointing it out in chats. Uh, when we think of, like the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake, those were PS1 games, those were like mm-hmm. that, those were three generations apart. Yeah, the PS1 that's, games that's in particular are, are tough to uh, go back to nowadays. Yeah, like like Dead Space was PS3. Like we don't. I next they're gonna reboot Uncharted or something and and make Uncharted again. Like I don't need or, Uncharted again. They're already like, remaking Uncharted. Last of Us. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that yeah, that too. You know, like why? Uh, anyway, but like, like, yeah, for what for, it's 
Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, for what it's worth, like uh, maybe some grievances about like just how well it holds up uh, fidelity wise um, and just like comparison to how it feels compared to it to like Dead Space One still totally functionable. You can play it on Xbox. It's backwards compatible. It's available on Steam. Uh, yeah, you can, you can totally play it like no issue. It's readily available. I just had the best i the best worst idea that's either going to come to fruition or it's not, and then everyone in this call is going to be mad at me that it did. Well, Jose and Atma will be mad at me that it didn't come to fruition. What if it is a reboot, remake, whatever of the first one in like theming? Like you find this thing, don't know what it is, learn what it is, and blah blah blah. But then, like at the very end of the game, they reveal that it's actually a hard sequel to Dead Space Three Extraction. Is a seaboot? Like a yeah, like a like a not your different character, or different situation. But like you know, like what if we find spoilers for anybody who hasn't played Dead Space Three? Humanity's done for. Um, <laughs> like what if we find out humanity did somehow survive either on another planet, other planets, colonized systems, or something, whatever. And like, what if the end of the game is literally like, like the character you're playing as finding an audio log, and we just hear Isaac's voice start playing, and then it like shuts off. Hmm. Would that be more something you think you would want, Atma? Like, not so much an actual hard reset as far as like a gameplay reboot and a story reboot narratively, but it still is a sequel in the universe. Yeah, that something like that would work really well for me. I don't know if they'll do it, and probably they're not going to do it because it is terrible. <laughs> I'm listen. I've I've manifested things into reality before. Jose can tell you. I fucking made all that Alan Wake DLC control shit happen. I guessed almost <laughs> every single element before it came out, and I was losing my mind. I I think what would be perfect for me is that so so three. I won't go into like super spoilers. The fucking moon is a giant necromorph. Like three went to some really dumb over the top places. It's kind of like impossible to top that. The best thing yeah, they could do is that, and, and horror movies do this a lot, once you raise the stakes so fucking stupidly high, the only rational thing you can do is to ground it right the fuck back down and do not have anything to do with that main casting. And just start off as someone new in an isolated incident that has no stakes in um in, in the grand scheme of things. Like, make, make, make it like more of a character piece, more of like a I- isolated narrative i think that's the best thing they could do if they want to like continue the franchise uh forward aside from like remakes reboots whatever yeah yeah i mean if you were to go the route of like um i mean not exactly like a like an re2 remake because obviously the game is still you know fully playable and it wouldn't be too dramatically different as a remake but if you were to mm-hmm. add like you know, it's some new stuff. Oh, there's some new rooms. We changed up the way that that things work. Maybe the, even the story is a little bit different, or something like that. Mm. Uh, with the I gave Isaac a kiss button. Benefit of hindsight uh, for <laughs> for you know two and three. Shit, maybe he talks more in in this remake or whatever, right? Or talks even talks at all. Oh yeah, isn't he completely silent? In a he doesn't have a voice actor in the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. He I has think- grunts. That's about it. Yeah. That tells you how little I know about Dead Space. I only I'm only <laughs> really familiar with two. Um. I don't know. You could do maybe an interesting remake with the benefit of hindsight from you know the other two games, but again, uh, to, to play off what Atmo was saying, I really just don't see it as something that's necessary. If you did maybe a remaster yeah. in the same vein as like you know the recent near one, where you're just kind of upscaling the game, making it look prettier, maybe you tune tune the gameplay a little bit mm-hmm. and put it on out on modern consoles. Sure, that's that'd be cool, but I I just don't really see the need for it. Really Actually, you know what? Remake, N- yeah. Now, now I think yeah. about it, the the thing that would, that would excite me the most of a remake versus a remaster is that they can, from the ground up, do a completely new lighting. Because you know, yeah. like 360 lighting, it is what it is. You can remaster, uh, but it, it, there's yeah, only so right much here. you can do with it. If you do like ground up on new hardware, it can look really fucking good. Well thought out aesthetics and theming can re- as good as the one like as I feel like that's one of the few things that actually didn't age poorly in Dead Space One was like just the overall atmosphere, the visual theming, and even the lighting. While it's I'm I'm a, I'm, I'm sure I'm looking at this with nostalgia goggles, but like I remember the lighting still being pretty damn good for its time. But now we're not in that time, so yada yada. 
Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, something like that would def- a remaster would definitely be a good thing. I also just don't expect EA to ever do that because I like the moment I saw them put it on EA Play as is, I was like, I, they're never doing a remaster. They don't need to. They don't want to spend the money. I think might, the other but... thing for me that like bothers me about this is that like the Resident Evil franchise is also getting new entries beside the remix, you know? Exactly, like, yeah. They're they're getting seven, they're getting eight, while RE2 remake and RE3 me- remake are coming out. And this is just like the re- we, we where's Dead Space 4 to yeah. as like a companion piece or something. It almost feels, again, this is probably just me being cynical because I fucking hate EA, but it feels almost like they're just like, shit, we got this fucking property and we need money. Let's fuck it. Let's make a remake. That worked for Capcom. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't want to be cynical about this because I feel like there are a lot of ways this could go well. I just don't trust EA or wh- and whoever they put in charge of it. Uh, whoever they decide to colonize. God, they really are just like a colonizer of a fucking company mm-hmm. like I, I was gonna say no that's like hyperbolic that's maybe i shouldn't say that like no but that is literally what they do they grab them they make them do what they want if they don't they kill them i i will say the the, the positive momentum within ea um it chiefly comes from them acquiring uh respawn them having good games having creative leeway yeah. and i believe the uh the founder it's was it frank zampella and vince something like, like they're, they're the guys that did Call of Duty 4. They were Infinity Ward. They went over to EA. They founded Respawn. Uh, one of yeah. them got promoted to, like, a very high-up position within EA. So I would say, like, hey, that's a force for good. Like, he's oh, pushing yeah. for more creative this. control. You reminded uh, me. Yeah, so, so and EA's, like, definitely moving towards more of a better light. But, you know, there's only so much with EA's entire yeah. structure still kind of being kind of shitty. But overall... Maybe pushing more for the positive than it has been for many, many years. Maybe I'll we'll sure remake the next Madden game is really good. Um, I forgot that they still make Madden games. Fuck yeah. me. I was trying to figure out what EA has done that isn't like Madden and FIFA recently, and I guess mm, forgot about Mass been. Effect. Star Wars, Mass Effect, Titanfall, um, Apex. Really pretty good. I'm gonna start playing. Oh yeah, they're Apex, Apex aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Timefall. What's Timefall? Oh, Titanfall. Fuck, it, it, sorry. It's, it's like some kind of Apex Legends spinoff where you, like, control a robot or something. I don't know. That was a good game. Seems, seems kind of derivative. No, I wasn't. I thought he was, and I just completely misheard him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Timefall? Are we talking about Hideo Kojima again? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Question before we move on. So I, I know I did like the horror analogy before where when a series doesn't know what to do, it kind of resets. What would be the dead space equivalent of Jason X where they go to space and they do a lot of stupid shit? What, what would be the stupider version of Dead Space 3? They did it. It's called Dead Space 3. <laughs> Sorry, like, I don't mean to be like, I, I no, no, like I know what you're trying to say. And I still stand by what I said about that game being capital F fine. But that is literally a game that goes from land from from planet to space for five seconds back to planet <laughs> like <laughs> i can't think of a better analogy as far as what is like the, the that version of that than that um which i'm gonna use this as an excuse to talk about dead space 3 what drives me crazy is that like when you play dead space 3 especially if you play it on co-op when you get to tal volantis it feels like a different game. It feels like the game they were trying to make before EA w- was like, no, 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 change it to this. Because, mm-hmm. like, like people will be like, oh, co-op was it ruined that game. And I'm like, no, no, no. I mean, I think it was forced on them at some point in development, but now I would not even, I would say not only did they take that in stride, I feel like if you don't play that game in co-op, you actually miss out because there's these story missions that are really fun that the players experience different circumstances. If you play as Carver, there's literally a level that basically doesn't happen if you play as Isaac. Like, Mm -hmm. you don't really see anything. You're just kind of walking through rooms while you're... My friend was, like, freaking out over my headset. Like, wow! I'm like, what are you... What is wrong with you? He goes, where are you? I can't say... And then we get to the end, and then Carver... And then Isaac turns to Carver and says, so, are you ready? He goes, what? He goes, you've been standing in this elevator, like, talking to yourself. Are you okay? And that's the end of the mission, and you get out of the elevator. It's, like, Mm -hmm. it's actually really good shit. That stuff's really cool. fucking cool. It, it's really weird, though. If you play it single player, like every time you have to interact with a thing to progress, there's always a fucking second thing yeah. right next. So you're like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be playing this co-op. 
Hmm. It, it's like they Resident Evil 5'd it, but instead of keeping in mind that you should have that AI partner with you at all times to make it make sense, they just cut it out. It's weird. Mm-hmm. And the stuff, I, I really wish we could have gotten, even if it was still co-op, I still wish we could have gotten that thing where it's more of like a, we don't know who to trust and we're on this foreign planet for like most of the game than dicking around in space for fucking 20 minutes. Out of curiosity, did you ever play Army of Two? I did. The second one was called. No. Two Two. Or no. I played the first one. Does, does anyone care about spoilers for the Army of Two? No. Fortieth day. <laughs> Those games are also oh, like pretty racist, if I remember correctly, as far as depictions. Oh, they of the super folks, racist. So. They, they absolutely are. Okay, so I'm not gonna say it does like the separate perspective thing. Whatever is Dead Space Three, but you get to the end of the game and there's a choice you can make where you can um was you you can you can fight the evil dude or you can like take his offer and try to kill your partner and so if you're playing co-op you actually have to get into like legit ass boss fight against your friend and it's That's really amazing. fucking sad like whoever loses it's 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 a fun way to end the game that i yeah. think a lot of people weren't expecting come out before or after <laughs> exactly. cell conviction i'm sorry i talked over before. you Sylvia. i'm sorry it was honestly like those games are stupid as shit that moment was pretty cool though. <laughs> yeah. I, I i thought that was pretty neat you know what? They did something similar to that in, um, this is one of the worst Resident Evil games, Resident Evil uh, Operation Raccoon City, where you're playing, oh as, God, you know, you're playing, you're playing as like um, umbrella operatives and you get to the end of the game and like you're supposed to go through you know the typical journey, we're the bad guys, but suddenly we're going to work for the good guys because we had a fucking change of heart, whatever bullshit, right? Um, so at the end of the game, you have that choice of let's save Leon and Claire, we have to help them go finish their mission or you can choose to to fucking kill them like it's a what if scenario whatever yeah. um and you and your co-op partner if you're playing co-op uh you can make separate decisions so if you if you conflict you have to gun down you have to not only gun down your co-op partner but you have to so i, I was one with the co-op partner he's he wanted the achievement to save them i wanted the achievement to kill them I, I didn't tell him what I was planning on doing, so I chose kill at the last second. He's like, oh, dude, you're such a fucking dick. I'm so close to getting this achievement. We're playing on hard, whatever. Uh, dude, gunned him down, gunned down Leon, gunned down Claire. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but I had to. <laughs> it was uh, it was legitimately a good moment in a very bad game. Hmm. I was going to say, that moment sounds way too cool for that game. It is entirely way too cool for that game. <laughs> I it's, think more uh, more media should have the balls to be like, yeah, we were a spinoff in this universe, but fuck it. We're doing something different than canon because fuck you. Even if yeah. it makes the game itself non-canon, I don't care. Just do yeah. cool shit that's stupid. Yeah, the Starkiller DLC for for uh, yeah, yeah, Force Unleashed. We kill Han Solo. Kill yeah, but, yeah, but Star Wars universe. You obliterate Obi Wan's ghost in that, don't you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> It's so good. I think you kill everybody in the Force Unleashed games, right? I think at one I point th- you kill Leia too. Yeah. Oh wow. Was because in the in the first one's DLC you can kill Obi Wan. Yeah, because the um in because for Force Unleashed it was the D de- because at the end of the game you got to choose between dark and light side, and so yeah. the DLC was if you chose dark, and the sequel mm-hmm. was if you chose light. Yeah. And then the, there's stuff in the second one also, right? I don't remember this. I don't know. I, I know that's game. a clone. That's Sam Witwer, but a clone. That's it's all liter- I know about. It's the literally one. the plot of of uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Are you a clone or are you not? You don't know. Wait, Shadow the Hedgehog was a clone in that game? Well, see, you need to play the saga known as Sonic Heroes to really figure out. I've is he an android? Sonic is Heroes. he a clone? Hmm. Fun. Do you remember that? Do you remember at the end of Sonic Heroes where you play a really. shadow and you walk into the room? And there's like a big old freaking hallway of shadows just hanging out in green freaking tub machines. I should remember that because I know I played through at least the hero and dark like storylines. How did this become a fucking Sonic Heroes podcast? <laughs> You're talking about clones, and it's literally the same plot as um. Like, what, were we, what were we just talking about? We were talking about Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yes, yeah, uh, Force Unleashed too. It's it's the same plot. Something of a clone saga, you could say. I exactly. bet Sam Witwer could do a pretty good Shadow the Hedgehog voice. Absolutely. You, you know what's really dumb about Shadow the Hedgehog? 
it's mm. so depend because you can get multiple endings there's like 20 plus even though there's like one canonical whatever Honestly, we're, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna ignore the part of that game that's uh there's so many endings yeah and like, like aside from that canonical one like depending on like whatever actions you do it somehow manages to rewrite the past where you can totally be an android you can totally be a clone mm -hmm. or you can just straight up be like the legit shadow it's just like I, that doesn't make sense it's yeah, it it's dumb. Are you ten out of ten. Game of the game of the year. Why are no. you expecting Sonic the Hedgehog to make sense? That's all I gotta say to you. I don't know. Is I, I have RPG I have any good? Oh, the Bioware one. Yeah, I, I people had high hopes for that. Isn't I've the heard Bioware people were one? very disappointed in it. Isn't that the one that that has the temp music and it's terrible? Oh I, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, like placeholder music. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's really bad. Someone got an email really? after that game was like, released. You know, like you know, um, was it Basement from RE One? No. Like, the, the no. entire soundtrack. The entire no. soundtrack. You're lying. No, There's not. no way. <laughs> Send me a yeah. link later, and I will look at that. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Oh my god! It's so anyway, bad. Again. let's get on to the next story. We forgot to put oh, the yeah, final stories. music in the whole game. <laughs> wait, I, I'm sorry, I switched to my camera. What happened? Wait, wait, wait! I heard sports. Are we going to talk about Conor McGregor getting his ass spanked like a? Blah. I know nothing. About I sports. fucked it up. Whatever. I hate him. He's a homophobe, and I'm glad he broke his own ankle. Mm. Yes, I, I agree with this. I know nothing about Connor, but yes. What's his last name, McGregor? McGregor. McGregor. Okay. The most yeah. stereotypical Irish last name I could think what's, of. 